A common way to show KPI indicators in a dashboard is by showing an up and down arrows or triangles colored by the positive or negative value of the change. KPI scorecard is a great visual to track an overall performance and in this tutorial we are going to learn three simple ways to create KPI indicators in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn three simple ways to create KPI indicators in Tableau. As you can see in this dashboard, we are showing three different tables and each of these tables have a KPI indicators and we have used three different ways to create them. So on the left hand side, the first way is to create these KPI indicators using shape marks and the second one is using simple formatting techniques which we will cover in a second and the third one is using calculated fields. So let's see how these KPI indicators are created. For this, I'll be using sample super store data set and we'll open a blank workbook. Here I am already connected to the sample super store data set. So let's first create a simple table showing the profit difference for different products. So let's bring order date into column shelf and let's bring subcategories into row shelf. You can use different dimension based on your products or different fields which you want to get the KPI measured. So in this case, I am just using subcategories and I would like to see the profit values. So you can see here the profit values of all these subcategories over different years. And now I want to see the percentage difference over these years for each of these products, right? Each of these subcategories basically. So I will simply click on this drop down arrow on the sum of profit value and we'll go to quick table calculation and select percent difference. Once you do that, you will see the 2018 values are blank because that's the reference point. So in comparison to 2018, 2019, we have 59% increase in sales for increase in profit for accessories. And same way, 2% increase in appliances. But if you see, there is a 4% decrease in fasteners. So that way you can measure the performance of each of these subcategories. And now I would simply go and format this and change it to percentage. And let's do it to one decimal place. And I don't want to see 2018 as blank, so I will simply hide it because this is our reference year, right? So you will now see all of these values of percentage difference. So let's go to our first way of creating the KPI, which is using shapes, shape marks. So for that, let me create a simple calculated field and I will give it the name person difference for shapes. And here, a simple tip is if you want to bring the table calculation which you have created here, you can simply click, select or drag it into the calculated field shelf and the formula will automatically appear in the calculated window. So I will simply select OK. And actually this, this field is percentage difference, not for the shape. So I will give the name percentage difference or profit. And I will create another calculated field on top of it, which I already did before. So I will just use this. I will actually delete this and create a new one and I will select and create a new one on top of this and we'll say shape field and here I will say if the percentage difference is greater than zero then it's a positive value else it's a negative value right so I will just put that in the formula and end it. And now I will simply bring that shape file in, into the shape mark. But before that, we have to change the automatic selection of mark and change it to shape. And you will see all the circles appear here. 
and we'll expand the column so we can have a clear picture now I will move the shape calculated field which we created into the shapes mark and you will see we have circle and square in this case which is positive and negative so I will go here and I will select the shapes of arrows and I want if it is negative I want to show it as red downward arrow and if it's positive I want to show it green arrow pointing upwards and here you go so the first way is created and I will increase the size to make it a bit more visible of this entire thing and increase the size of the values as well and once you expand a little bit and do a little bit more formatting you will start to see it appear really nicely and in the labels you can go and change the way things change the formatting and if you want to increase the size you can do it a bit more so that was the first way by using shapes now let's go to another sheet and we want to use it we want to create the KPI indicator using simple formatting technique so let's simply create again the order date bring into column shelf subcategory into row shelf profit here and change it to person difference and just hide 2018 and in this case you simply click on this percentage different value and select format when you select format you can go to numbers and change it to percentage and in there you can select two percentage or one percentage but if you notice when I click on the custom value the format is 0.0 percent it's showing it as one decimal value if I change it to two zeros you will see it's two decimal places right and this is actually by default it shows you this way with positive and negative values but if you want to show negative values separately you just put colon and type in 0.00 percent and you can use it as a negative value and you will see negative sign appears in all the negative values or you can use round brackets to show the negative values as well which is most of the time used to show the financial results if we are having our negative revenues so in that case you can use that or if you want to use any other icon positive or negative drop down arrows or any other shape you can use that so you just need a unicode corrector for that so i have downloaded a few of these geometrical shapes so for example you can go to this side which is jrgraphics.net and you can go to code and under that code you can go to unicode corrector table from here or you can go to uh, different unicode shapes which i had it here let's go back so under code you can go to geometrical shapes and you can select let's say down one with this one so i will simply copy that one and let's go here into the shapes and you paste it here directly and you will see all the negative arrows are starting to appear and you can do the same thing for the positive arrow simply copy it go back into number formatting and put the positive arrow in front of the positive number so anything with the positive value will appear and appear a positive upward going arrow and with the negative value it will show the downward going arrow but the challenge here is you can't color code it it will always remain black and white so if you just want to show negative value you can just remove this one and just show the negative value for the negative values to pop it out right so that was the second technique where you can use the formatting now let's let's go to the third technique which is using calculated fields so let's do the same thing quickly here subcategories profit percentage difference and hide 2018 and we have already created the field percentage difference so based on that we will create two more fields one will be 
positive percentage difference and in this we will simply say if percentage difference is greater than zero then you can simply put the upward arrow in there and end it and we will create a duplicate field and select downward arrow in this case and we will change it to negative percentage difference and we will say if the percentage difference is less than zero then i want the negative arrow so i've just copied it again and i will change it to negative arrow and select ok so what i will do i will simply bring negative percentage difference into text shell and i will bring positive percentage difference into text mark as well and you will see all that started to appear pretty well you can just expand a little bit and go to text mark and open the text window so here you will see all these are in different rows but i want all in one row so i will remove this extra field which i don't need here and i will bring this in one field one row and when i apply this you will see all of them started to appear in one row and at a time a value can either be a positive or a negative so that's why you will see it's appearing with the number there is only one icon is appearing either positive or negative and if you want to color code this as well so you can actually select this the positive value you want to see always green color you can select green and you want to see negative values as red let's say you select red and you can actually bold it as well and apply and okay so that way you can see it's all working looking really nice you can do a little bit of more formatting and let's say instead of center i want it on the right side so all the arrows are a bit aligned click ok and you can do more alignment and do it on the right hand side and maybe keep it in the center and this is because the spacing is not right in here so let's go back and let's let's remove all the spacing so we now yep so if we just give one space for both of them yep so here you see they are all in a all in one line so that's how you can use these three ways to create a KPI indicators up and down arrows. So let's let's review it again. So the first one was by using shapes and you can change the shape if you want here as well. You can simply go and select whichever shape you want. So you can keep it simple arrows or colored arrows or you can actually customize the shape as well. So if you have any particular um, different shapes you have created, you can save it in your shapes repository in your document folder and you can select those ones as well so i don't have any other arrows otherwise i would have shown you that one so just for your reference let's say negative one i want to show this cylinder and positive one i want to show green cylinder and you will see different cylindrical shapes can be used as well so any shape you can use it into in, in showing the kpi indicators and the second one was formatting technique where you simply go and format all the numbers and the third one was using calculated fields. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so for more such interesting videos. Thank you and catch you next time.